Hi, and welcome to my video, and this is about the uh, Remote SL. Um, there's two versions. There's a Remote SL2 and a Remote SL1. This is the Remote SL1. Um, the main differences between the Remote SL1 and the Remote SL2. Um, the Remote SL1 has two screens, one and two. The Remote SL2 has just the left screen. Um, this is the 37 key version. Um, <clears throat> and the Remote SL2 has rotary encoders that have, they're like all lit up. Um, and this one doesn't have those. There might be a few other differences as well. Um, I'm going to tell you some of the different ways you can use the Remote SL. The remote cell doesn't have any built-in sounds. It's basically a MIDI controller. So you can use it in basically three main ways. You can plug MIDI gear into the remote cell, um, like a sampler. Uh, you have two samplers. You can plug it into a sampler, um, a synth module anything like that and then you can play the synth model module or the sampler with the remote SL. Um, there's a whole bunch of templates that come with the remote SL. Um, I'm going to give you the fastest way to get running on this thing and the fastest thing to get running way to get running and using this thing is when you get it open or get it home um, hit the template, um, plug your MIDI into the back here, um, plug your MIDI um, with a MIDI cord, plug it in to the back, there's um, uh, MIDI port out, and there's MIDI port 2 out, so put it into MIDI port 1 out, um, probably to start, and then there's a, uh, the second button on the top here is template. And then press that template button. Um, and then press the template button a second time. So um, when you're in play mode, you'll see this window. And then when you go into template mode, you'll see this window. And then when you play, press template mode a second time, you'll get this window. And this window is the window that you want. Um, so that you can get the Novation Remote SL to control uh, the MIDI device that you just plugged into it. Then under ports, you've got a button under ports and press ports and you'll s cycle through the port settings and then you can turn the con this um, encoder or this pot potentiometer underneath the parts and it, you can set it to U1. U1 is to, for the your PC. U2 is a PC port. M1 is your first MIDI port. M2 is your second MIDI port. So we plugged it into M1. Now you go over to your MIDI channel, and this channel should be set to whatever MIDI channel your sampler or other um, audio devices set to, like synth or whatever. Um, these ones you can set, um, you have to make sure the zones is on. So just put it on in the on, and zone one um, just means keyboard zone, so you can set it up so that part of your keyboard is controlling um, one port or one channel and then part of your keyboard is controlling another keyboard channel etc etc so for now you hit you press for example if you want to set this one press under low note press that and then press the key um, uh, um, to the left the low key here same thing so C5 is the fifth C and the second C so now it's all set up. Now you should be able to easily play what's ever plugged into port M1. And for example, if you wanted to 
control your software, um, you can do the template route, um, but I like this, I prefer this way quicker. Um, and that is, um, you can program your templates, like I have some templates programmed, but if you want to just set it up to, um, well yeah, if you want to start, um, you put it in global mode, um, and then go all the way to the top here, or wait, uh, let's see, uh, change, memory protect, so you go to global mode, and then memory protect is off, so you want that off, so that you can save your template. And then, um, you go back into template, and, okay, so say you're in play mode, um, you go to play mode, and then you can turn this middle encoder here, um, and this middle encoder will change your template. So I have 30, 39 and 40, or 37, no, 38 and 39 programmed for my um, sampler. So once you have your template selected, then you go global, um, and then uh, hit global. Uh, global, you have to hit several times. Uh, sorry about the focusing. There you go. So global, you hit several times. Or let's see. Okay, no, so, yeah, once on global, um, you might see that memory protect there. Okay, so... memory protect is off. So that means you can save the template. Template. Uh, template. And then if you made changes and you want to keep your changes, um, you press the right button. And then you um, you can change the name of the template and you can press write again and it'll save it. I'm not going to save it again. I'm not going to write it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, that's the one way you can use it. So I've already described one way you can use this Novation Remote Cell, and that is uh, the Remote Cell. I mean, think about this thing is this keyboard. I've had this keyboard for a few years and it's so complex that <clears throat> It took me a, a few years to even dig it, dig deep, deep into it to figure out how to use it, and there wasn't any good videos really on how to how to get into it. So I, I think that they could have Novation could have really worked on putting out some good videos on showing people how to use it. Um, I'm going to show you some other the features. Like there's drum pads. Um, you can actually set up each of those drum pads um, to go through a MIDI channel and control like a sampler. So you can have each of those pads um, controlling a different MIDI channel and a different note number. And you can set up all of these um, encoders or pots so that they control some aspect of your keyboard or your sampler. So like filter controls, volume, pan, and things like that, and then you can save it all. So it's a really good hardware uh, controller. Um, and it's got aftertouch and things like that. Um, it's got um, uh, 
joystick as well. So it's got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you can use. The other thing that this thing is really good for is is an interface. What do I mean by an interface? Well, um, you can plug in other MIDI gear. Um, for example. Um, I have um, some drum pads, external drum pads. So, for example, you can take those drum pads and you can plug them into the Novation and then you can control your software. So it's like a MIDI interface. So that's the other thing that this thing's really good for is being a MIDI interface. Now, um, it takes a little bit of fiddling to get it to work. Um, I can't recall right offhand how you do it. But you can use this definitely as, a, like I said, as a MIDI interface. Um, so where it says MIDI in on the back, you plug into MIDI in, and then you can set it so that it it forwards whatever MIDI information that's coming in, and you can forward that into into like Cubase or something like that. So in the end, I mean, you can pick up these remote. Remota cells. This is the 37 key. They make a larger one, and they make a smaller one without even a keyboard, and then they make a smaller one with just you know two octaves of keys. So they make um, you know four versions, I think, of it. And um, <clears throat> some things are lacking. They should have really worked on, like for example, like writing your own templates. I think that they could really have worked on you know, the software for writing your own templates. Um, so that's really just basic. Um, but it does everything. You don't even need to do that. Like, it certainly saves you time. Um, but downloading and uploading templates is a, is a pain in the ass sometimes, and it doesn't always work. But it usually does. I mean, I mean, you know, it usually works. Everything usually works on this thing. Um, it's a pretty good device. Like I said, it's deep. There's not a lot of really quick, you know, how-tos on this device, so it can frustrate a lot of people. But in the end, it's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.